In the vast cosmic sea, humanity gazes outward and dreams of touching distant stars. Because one day, the moon will leave us. And when it does, Earth and life as we know it will change forever. This is the story of the day the moon will leave Earth and what might happen next. To understand why the moon might one day leave Earth, we have to go back 4.5 billion years to the violent birth of our cosmic neighbor. Back then, Earth didn't even have a moon. Instead, our planet was young, molten, and under constant bombardment by asteroids and space debris. Then came a cataclysm that changed everything. A Mars-sized body, often called Theia, slammed into Earth at an angle, ejecting molten rock and vapor into space. These debris eventually gathered into a swirling disk around Earth, coalescing into a single body, the Moon. It was born from chaos, forged by cosmic violence. But here's the twist. From the very beginning, the Moon has been moving away from Earth. And that slow dance apart continues today. It's a tiny distance, but over millions of years it adds up. In fact, scientists estimate that 1.5 billion years ago, the Moon was 22,500 kilometers closer to Earth than it is now. Imagine standing on Earth and seeing a moon nearly twice its current size in the sky. Tides would have been far stronger, reshaping coastlines and driving powerful ocean currents. It's thanks to the moon's gravity that Earth's oceans rise and fall in rhythmic tides. But the moon's gravity also does something else. It's subtly slowing down Earth's rotation. Long ago, a day on Earth lasted only six hours. Over time, tidal friction has dragged the planet's spin to our modern 24-hour days. But as Earth's rotation slows, it transfers some of its rotational energy to the Moon. That's why the Moon is slowly moving away from us. It's cosmic physics in action, and the ultimate reason the Moon may someday leave Earth's side altogether. So how far will it go? Will the Moon actually break free and vanish into space? Let's explore the science. Technically, the Moon orbits Earth in what's known as a bound system. But here's the problem. As the Moon recedes, its orbital period increases. Someday, the Moon will reach a distance where its orbit matches Earth's rotation exactly. This is called mutual tidal locking. At that point, a single day on Earth would last about 47 days. No more sunrises or sunsets every 24 hours. Half the planet would roast in endless daylight, while the other freezes in perpetual night. Life would be forced to adapt, or die. Once mutual tidal locking happens, the Moon's outward drift would theoretically stop. But there's a twist. Our Sun is changing too. Over the next several billion years, the Sun will gradually expand, become a red giant, and lose mass. As the Sun loses mass, its gravitational grip on Earth and the Moon will weaken. This might allow the Moon to drift even farther away or break free completely. So how long do we have until the Moon leaves us for good? Based on current drift rates, total separation would take roughly 50 billion years. But there's a problem with that math. In about 5 billion years, the Sun will become a red giant, expanding so large it might swallow Mercury and Venus. Life as we know it would be obliterated long before the Moon ever drifts completely away. Earth's oceans would boil away under searing heat. So, in a very real sense, Earth won't survive long enough for the Moon to fully leave us. But imagine a hypothetical future, a far-flung epoch where Earth somehow survives the Sun's wrath. If the Moon did drift away, what would happen to our planet? First, the tides would shrink dramatically. Without the Moon's pull, high and low tides would be much weaker, just tiny ripples caused by the Sun's gravity. Marine life that relies on tidal ecosystems could collapse. Animals like crabs, turtles, and certain fish might lose breeding grounds. Entire coastal ecosystems could vanish. Next, Earth's tilt would become dangerously unstable. Right now, the Moon helps stabilize Earth's axial tilt at about 23.5 degrees. Without it, gravitational tugs from other planets, especially giant Jupiter, could send Earth's axis swinging wildly. Our seasons could become extreme, with ice ages and blistering heat swapping places unpredictably. Deserts could become rainforests, and rainforests could become frozen wastelands. There's also a cosmic silver lining. A moonless Earth would have perfectly dark nights. 
Astronomers would enjoy breathtaking views of galaxies and distant nebulae unobscured by moonlight glare. But for most life on Earth, the moon's departure would be catastrophic. And that raises a philosophical question. How much of who we are, as humans, as a civilization, depends on our cosmic companion? The moon has shaped our myths, our art, our poetry. It's guided sailors across oceans. It's driven our calendars and inspired scientists to explore the stars. Without the moon, would we even be the same species? So the next time you gaze up at that silver globe in the night sky, remember, it's not just a rock floating in space. It's a cosmic anchor that holds Earth's rhythm together. The moon's silent presence has shaped our planet, our climate, and even our destiny. One day, far, far in the future, the moon may finally leave us. But until then, it remains our loyal guardian in the night sky, a timeless companion in the endless dance of the cosmos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey into the future of Earth and the Moon, subscribe for more mysteries of our universe explained.